Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. Welcome everyone, good day, good evening. I wanna talk about something that I really love. We are streaming live here, the old okra. Now people, I love this vegetable. There are so many things you can do with it. Now it is a vegetable, although sources say it is also a fruit, but I think it's a vegetable. I don't like green fruits. So anyways, let's go into a few important things. I have a few notes I made. I'm gonna to try to defer to it only in the, the point that I don't want to leave anything out. I'm gonna go through this real quick just to hit the highlights. So let's move forward. Hopefully you'll enjoy this program and give you a little bit of insight. Uh, this guy right here, uh, this looks like a very happy belly. Would you say that? So one good thing about okra is it will definitely make you feel full for a long period of time, keeping you away from those potato chips and those crackers and those Doritos. So uh, this is a great vegetable to allow you to lose weight if you're looking to lose weight or cut down where you don't really have that hunger. Uh, let's go over here. And uh, this is basically what you take in is what you're going to absorb, supposedly, right? Um, if you have a very toxic gut, you're not going to be assimilating a lot of the nutrients that you're taking in. So uh, just to keep it real simple and clean for you, uh, this basically uh, means that you're going to have better digestion. Uh, this is definitely a great digestive type of vegetable. There's a lot of great things it can do for you, how it sweeps the colon, how it cleanses the colon. Uh, it's all fiber, like barely any fat in there. So this will really prepare the intestines for good absorption, and it is an excellent vegetable for that. Uh, low calorie, if you're looking to lose weight, as I said, this, this is something that can really keep you trim, help you cut down, start adding it to your diet. You can start using the tuna fish on there and uh, you can make some really interesting, uh, interesting dinners. And uh, I've seen some really cool stuff that they made like at the health food places where I live, but I'm definitely not a cook, but okra is definitely something they commonly use. Basically, we talk about the old kidneys forget about this. This is so complicated. This is going back to my physiology. This is about the reabsorption and how it absorbs and how the distal convoluted, convoluted tubules work and the, and the loop of Henle. This basically means that this is acts as a diuretic. So for people that retain a lot of fluid, uh, this is something that you can eat in your diet. I will really think it will really help you excrete a lot of that extra fluid that you're hanging on to uh, because it is a great diuretic. When it comes to cholesterol, it will lower the LDLs. There's no question. The fiber, the pectin in there will definitely uh, grab onto that and just kind of swoop it away. So, uh, you know, when it comes to cholesterol, which is a big thing that people are saying under 200. And by the way, uh, going back about 25 years ago, normal cholesterol was like 350. What happened? I know what happened. The pharmaceutical markets are uh, want to make money and they can't make money unless they bring the, the numbers down. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. But when it comes to cholesterol, there's a lot of great food. This is one of my favorite foods when it comes to a cholesterol because it is going to actually going to help you improve cardiac function and prevent um, the placking that's going to take place in those arteries, which obviously we don't want. Uh, fighting against cancer, uh, there's another great thing. Great antioxidants. Uh, this helps fight off the free radicals, which can lead to cancer, which I'll talk about something in just a minute uh, towards the end of the program. But this is something that is excellent. Uh, when it comes down to the uh, immune system, uh, fighting off immunity, it is packed with uh, vitamin C. Uh, again, the most important thing, how this thing fights off immunity, is that it works along with the good bacteria in the intestines, our flora. So if our flora is thrown off, our immunity becomes diminished. So very important when it comes to immunity. If you look at this right here, do you know what that is? Those are not fish. <laughs> that is all about fertility. That is a sperm and the egg. And uh, the important thing about this is when it comes down to the female who uh, is trying to get pregnant, most important thing are folates, folic acid. Uh, without it, it's going to obviously cause neural tube defects in the offspring. And by adding these folates during the pregnancy, it does help support the healthy mom and the baby. So great for those uh, females who are looking to get uh, 
pregnant. Uh, I do see uh, Susan out there say healthy fish. Uh, yes, they do look healthy to me. Absolutely. So let's go here. Blood sugar. Uh, blood sugar is extreme. This kind of works more like a hypoglycemic type of uh, magic food. Uh, what they actually have found is by taking uh, the okra, okra, I say, I don't want to say the other one, uh, and then they cut both sides of, of the, this, the, the both sides of the okra off and then they they kind of put little holes or they kind of kind of slice the sides of the okra and then they let it soak in water overnight and they drink the water and this is proven where it helps diabetics you can look into this if you are a diabetic it will definitely help type 2 diabetics uh, there's a lot of interesting research on this i don't have it all in front of me right here but uh, this is something not only for those who are diabetic but for diabetic prevention uh, this is a very healthy food for you uh, asthmatics uh, people who have asthma, a lot of vitamin C. This has been proven to help asthma. Uh, so if you are an asthmatic, uh, this is something you may want to look into and consider. We look at the brain. Uh, this does prevent neurogenic diseases. And uh, as I was kind of reading up on that. It's kind of interesting. It does give you a mental boost. Well, when it comes down to anti-inflammatories here, we know that everything, uh, every disease is known to be inflammatory. Uh, I don't care if it's Alzheimer's, cardiovascular disease, cancer, arthritis, renal disease, anything in the body that is known to uh, cause any type of disease is known to have inflammation. So obviously, anti-inflammatory diets, and this is one of them. Uh, we look at sugar as inflammation. First thing we do when we try to get people well is get them off sugar. And I'm very big with that, very big with greens, because greens to me, just keeping alkalinity in the system will uh, prevent a lot of the pathogenic things from happening. Uh, we want to keep alkalinity. Alkalinity is extremely important, and I cannot stress that more than anyone. Now, a lot of the things that go on with inflammation is not only the, uh, the cardiovascular or, or pain or arthritic changes, uh, but we look at even the uh, cataracts, we look at irritable bowel syndrome, we look at lung inflammation. There's a lot of things that go hand in hand with this. We look at the old eyes, macular degeneration, cataracts are all related to this. This is something that's extremely good for your eyes. Uh, bone health, preventing osteoporosis. Uh, now, let me tell you what's really cool about this. And this, you know, kind of teaches me a lot when I go back and I like, I love to get on Google and, and study this. But thanks to the vitamin Ks, that's what's interesting about this okra, the vitamin K and the folates. This has been credited in preventing the bone loss and fending off this osteoporosis. So osteoporotic people, that is something you may want to add to that. Uh, beautiful skin. There's a multi-billion dollar skin industry. This will help increase the skin cells of collagen. Uh, it will help rejuvenate the growth of this, helping make it look uh, smoother and, and nicer. Uh, it does help the skin. Something that I'm going to try to keep in mind as I get younger. Okay. I thought that was interesting. Stomach ulcers. Uh, great for stomach ulcers. Great for gastric uh, ulcers. It does help heal ulcers. You can go ahead and do the research on here. Uh, it is when consumed, it speeds the healing of these peptic ulcers. So uh, it coats the stomach. It has the... Uh, that that mucilage uh, type of thing, which I'm going to talk about in just a second in there, but it does actually coat it. It's extremely good. I do like aloe as well. Very important. Now, why did I put this up here? Um, I put this here for a reason. This is the okra. Now, we notice that, 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 that mucilage in there, that real sticky stuff. Now, I like it. Some people say, oh, I don't like that stuff. That stuff's disgusting. Uh, this mucilage of okra, it binds cholesterol and the bile acids. It carries the toxins dumped in by the liver. It, and what it does, this contains the insoluble, the insoluble fiber. And by having this, it actually keeps the intestinal tract healthy. And this is where it decreases colorectal, uh, colorectal cancer. Uh, very important when it comes to cancer in the colon this is known to reduce that cancer significantly. There's a lot of studies on this. Last thing I want to mention to you is this. Now, what this is, uh, that slimy, uh, that slimy type of thing that we're talking about, uh, the, the way to get rid of it, uh, you want to take that and you want to soak it in vinegar uh, for about 30 minutes. And when you take it out of the vinegar, then you rinse it off with water, damp it off, 
and then go ahead and stir fry it, make it however you want. You won't have any type of that slimy stuff on there, okay? We could just say that. Some people hate that slimy stuff. To me, I like it, all right, because I think it's good for you. I don't like to take away from Mother Nature. Anyways, uh, that's really about it. I really hope that uh, you gain a little bit from this. I like this. This is something that's really powerful. It's got a lot of a lot of research behind it, and it's something. It's one of my favorite vegetables, and I really think it can do wonders for you as well. Anyway, share this video. Check me out, Motivational Doc, on Facebook. Uh, make it a great day. Much love to everyone out there, and we'll catch up with you on our next video. Bye-bye now.